the Mormon Battalion. The Saints were at Council Bluffs. A captain of the United States Army came to see Brigham Young. His name was Captain Allen. Captain Allen said the President of the United States wanted 500 men to join the Army. Brigham Young said the Saints would do what the President wanted. Captain Allen talked to the men and 500 of them joined the Army. They were called the Mormon Battalion. Sometimes members of the church are called Mormons because they believe in the Book of Mormon. Brigham Young told the men to be the best soldiers in the army. They should take the Bible and Book of Mormon with them. They must be neat, clean, and polite. They should not swear or play cards. Brigham Young told the men to obey God's commandments. Then they would not have to kill anyone. The Mormon battalion went with Captain Allen. The saints were sad to see them go. The saints needed all the men to help them go west. They did not want the men to go away to fight, but they knew the soldiers would be paid. The money would help the saints. The Mormon battalion traveled south. Some of the families of the soldiers were with the Mormon battalion. It was very hard for the people to travel. They had to walk all the way. The roads were very bad. Sometimes the wagons got stuck in the deep sand. There was no water to drink. There were no trees where the men could rest in the shade. Some people got sick. Only the sick people could ride in the wagons. Captain Allen decided the sick soldiers and the women and children should stay in Colorado. They stayed at a town called Pueblo. The soldiers were paid for being in the army. Some of the sick soldiers sent money to their families in Council Bluffs. They sent money for the poor people in Nauvoo and for the missionaries. The soldiers in the battalion kept marching. Sometimes they did not know where they were going. They had to dig down into the sand to find water. The water tasted bad. The soldiers did not have enough food. There was no wood to make fires. The men had to burn weeds. The soldiers met Indians and other people who had food. The soldiers did not have money to buy food. They gave the Indians some of their clothes. The Indians gave the soldiers some food. The Mormon battalion traveled west. They came to some very steep mountains. The men had to tie ropes on the wagons and pull them up the mountains. Then they let the wagon down the other side. One day, the soldiers saw some bulls. The bulls attacked the soldiers. The soldiers fought the bulls. At last, they chased the bulls away. One man was hurt. He could not walk for a long time. At last, the Mormon battalion came to the Pacific Ocean. It was the 29th of January, 1847. The men were very tired. Their clothes were ragged. They were glad their long march had ended. The soldiers were paid for being in the army. They did not have to be in the army anymore. They could go home to their families. Some of the men stayed in California. Most of them went to the Rocky Mountains to be with the other saints who had arrived there from Council Bluffs.